Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the DNS lookup failed error you might be getting in Google Chrome. So if you're browsing the internet and you receive the error that the server at whichever site you're trying to visit can't be found because the DNS server lookup failed, this tutorial will be for you guys. So pretty straightforward here. We're going to start by heading over to the Start button and we're going to right click on it. And then we're going to select command prompt and then in parentheses admin from this menu. And left click on it. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. In this command prompt, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash release. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done typing that in, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash all and then you want to hit enter again. Now you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS then you want to hit enter again on your keyboard. You can see that we have successfully flushed our DNS resolver cache. Once you're done doing that, type in ipconfig space forward slash renew then hit enter on your keyboard so this command will take a little bit longer than the other ones to finish, so just be patient. And now that that one's finished, we want to type in NET SH space INT space IP space said another space DNS. So it should read NET SH int IP set DNS with spaces in between all of these. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. This will take a couple seconds as well, so just be patient here. Okay, so once that one is done, we're going to type in NET SH space Winsock space reset. So it should read NET SH Winsock reset. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And this should be the last command we're going to run here. And it'll say that we have successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So at this point, I recommend restarting your computer and then try and connect back up to the website you were having issues with. And hopefully your problem has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.